This is part 61 of AngularCRAD tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to implement accordion type of functionality in Angular. Along the way, we'll also discuss the difference between NGIF directive and hidden property. Here is what we want to do. We want to make the employee panel title clickable. When I click on the panel title, we want to collapse the panel body and footer. Clicking on the panel title again should expand the collapsed panel body and footer. There are several ways to do this. One way is to implement the accordion functionality in the component itself where we need it. For example, in our case, the display logic for the employee is present in this display employee component. So we include accordion functionality also in this component. The benefit of this approach is it is very easy to implement. The downside is we cannot reuse this accordion functionality in another component if we need it there. We have to re-implement the same functionality again in that component. In our next video, we'll discuss how to extract this kind of common accordion functionality into a separate component using content projection. So it can be reused anywhere in the application where we need that same accordion type of functionality. In this video, let's implement accordion functionality in this display employee component itself. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is create a Boolean property within the component class. Let's name it panel expanded. Notice we have initialized it to true, so the employee panel is expanded by default when the page first loads. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is change the cursor style to hand symbol when we hover over this employee title so the end user knows it's clickable. For that, let's include a CSS class in the corresponding CSS file. I'm going to name it pointer cursor. All this class is going to do is set the cursor style to pointer. Now, let's use this class within the view template. Notice here we have the panel title div. So in addition to panel heading class, let's also use the pointer cursor class. Now let's save our changes so far and see what we have got. Notice now when I have the mouse over the panel title, the cursor style changes indicating that it's clickable. At the moment, when we click, nothing happens. What we want to do is on click, we want to collapse the panel body and footer. If we click on the panel title again, the collapsed body and footer must be expanded. For that, we're going to make use of this Boolean property, panel expanded. So within our view template, we have our panel body div right here. Let's collapse this. And the panel footer div is here. Now what we want to do is display these two divs only when this property panel expanded is true. So let's use NJF structural directive and bind to panel expanded property. Let's do the same thing with the panel footer div. Now let's bind to the click event of this panel heading div. What should happen when we click on this panel heading div? We want to toggle the value that we have in this panel expanded property. So let's wire up click event handler. When we click on the panel heading div, let's toggle the value that we have in panel expanded property. Notice now when we click on the panel heading, it's collapsed. When we click on it again, it's expanded. At the moment, to show and hide panel header and footer, we're using this NGF structural directive. NGF removes the element from the DOM completely when the condition is false and adds the element back once the condition becomes true. So every time we click the panel title, the panel body and footer are either added to the DOM or removed from the DOM, depending on whether the condition is true or false. Let's actually prove this. Now let's inspect this panel heading. Notice we have got panel heading, panel body, and panel footer. And we have those respective elements here in the DOM. Here is panel heading div, and then we have panel body. And if we scroll down a bit, we also have panel footer div. Now look what happens when we click on the panel header. Notice both panel body div and panel footer div are removed from the DOM. We only have panel heading here, and after that, 
we have our second employee Mary and then the third employee now look what happens when I click on this panel heading again we have the body and footer visible that means we also have the respective developments added back to the DOM in our case the user of the application may toggle the visibility several times so from a performance standpoint it is better to show and hide the panel body and footer rather than removing from the DOM and adding them back again when the condition is true to show and hide we use the hidden property instead of NGF so let's replace this NGF structural directive with hidden property binding to make this code more readable and hence more maintainable let's change the name of this property panel expanded to is hidden let's do that within our component class we want the panel to be expanded by default so let's set its value to false now let's bind to this is hidden property within our view template so at all places where we have panel expanded let's use this new property is hidden let's use this hidden property binding on our footer div as well let's save all our changes and then take another quick look at the browser notice from an end user standpoint the application works exactly the same way as before the only difference is instead of adding and removing elements from the DOM it's now showing and hiding them when the elements are hidden it's adding this hidden attribute and if we take a look at this hidden attribute to hide the elements notice we are using display colon none style when the elements are displayed the hidden attribute is removed so what is the difference between NGF structural directive and hidden property and more importantly when to use one over the other well NGF adds or removes element from the DOM whereas hidden property hides and shows the element by adding and removing display colon none style if you frequently toggle the visibility of an element it is better to use hidden property from a performance standpoint on the other hand if you know you'll not need to show an element then NGF is better for example you're logged in as a non-administrator and there is a report component on the page that should be displayed only to the administrators since you're logged in as a non-administrator using NGF to hide the report component is better from a performance standpoint since NGF does not add the element to the DOM it also does not execute the code associated with that report component if you use hidden property instead then the report component will be constructed all its associated code is executed the component is added to the DOM and to keep it hidden from the non-administrator it uses display colon none style so in short if you frequently toggle the visibility of an element it is better to use hidden property on the other hand if you know the element will remain hidden and the user does not have the ability to toggle the visibility then use NGF structural directive at the moment we have all our accordion functionality implemented in this display employee component where we need it but the downside of this approach is that if we need the same accordion functionality in another component within our application we will have to re-implement all this code even within that component in our next video using a technique called content projection we are going to implement this accordion functionality in its own component the benefit of that approach is we can use this accordion functionality anywhere within our application where we need it so let's undo all the changes that we have done in this video first let's remove these two hidden property bindings next let's remove the pointer cursor CSS class and finally the click event handler next within the component class the only change we made is introduced is hidden property let's delete that finally let's remove the pointer cursor CSS class on this slide we have the code required to implement the accordion functionality in the component itself where we need it this approach is easy and works great if you need this accordion functionality in just this component but if you need it in multiple components it is better to implement this functionality in its own component so we could reuse it anywhere within our application that's exactly what we'll be doing in our next video using a technique called content projection that's it in this video thank you for watching and have a great day